Hello, this is Melissa with um, blog on my construction process, working with general contractor, uh, RT Construction, Garrett and Smith. And it's early in the morning. It's about 5.54, Thursday, August 20th. And yesterday, um, one of Gary's guys named Joe came to fix something here, which is now working. It was these outlets. These outlets weren't working because for a lack of my knowledge, well, this one's not working. And I don't even know what's going on there. But for the lack of my knowledge, I only know so much about electrical, but I do know these all have to be connected. They're GFCI. They're supposed to be, um, they're supposed to be a certain way of wiring them. Um, and furthermore, because this is a renovation, these outlets need, be, the wires from the house can mean um, a few things. It could mean that the wires are not the correct color because from what I understand in terms of electrical work, you match black to black, you know, white to white, you know, whatever the color. But from my understanding, these are actually new wires. So all that should be, you know, pretty, pretty on, on task, meaning like there shouldn't be any issue about like, okay, is this really a power line or is this really a neutral line or whatever type of line it is. Furthermore, um, there are these testers that can help you determine that, um, that you, what I've seen a lot of um, handy people along with um, electricians use is like a line tester, which would tell them, you know, if there's power or not. So he's, Joe came around two, between two and three in the afternoon, stayed till about seven working on this, fiddling with this. So I'm hoping that this would work now otherwise I'm going to have to pay another electrician to do this um, what was interesting was that he told me that Roy the main guy um, was helping him through this process which is fine but then again this is one of those things where you know when I pay someone and I'm sure if you pay someone for a job you're not expecting to pay it as a tuition for someone to learn. Hey, if it was my own kid doing this stuff and they were learning from Roy, not a problem. I certainly wouldn't be paying regular prices, retail prices, but this is kind of silly, you know? I mean, and I understand where Joe's coming from. He feels bad for me because um, my general contractor, Gary, you know, doesn't really have anyone else to work on this stuff. I mean, I suppose he can work on his, this stuff because he claims he's an electrician, but if he was an electrician, then why are we in this mess in the first place, right? So uh, this is one of those things where um, it's really, it's a, it's a challenging time. And um, it's like, for me, as you know, when you pay for a service to get something done, you're not really expecting, you know, someone to learn on the job. Not to say I'm not, an advocate for someone learning a job. There's definitely apprenticeship programs and all things like that. But frankly speaking, you know what? That's not what I signed up for. I signed up for someone to get this done and get this done right, assuming that they got this done right. Um, what was a little concerning was that, you know, I think Joe was working on some of this stuff and some of this stuff was sparking. So it makes me wonder. Um, so so that is for um that is for the electrical what was a little annoying yesterday um that joe said to me that oh gary couldn't make it the general conference because he had the stone yesterday was supposed to be a day of install of stone and he couldn't make it because of the rain and all that stuff yeah i understand but i get i understand that but i didn't like what joe said what he says you know I'm okay with it. I never said that I was okay with it. I understand, but I'm not okay with it because like when after the rain, the, the skies become clear and you can come in and you could do the work. You can, you can install the stone. This is a stone that's, you know, I've been waiting for that was done on Tuesday and you know, that was ready for pickup on Tuesday. And now it's, you know, it's already Thursday. So we're already a day late and I'm, I'm just like, well, 
you know what, think about the hundreds of thousands of people that are out there every day that are like, you know, getting stuff done. And even if it's raining or whatever, the, they don't say, oh, we're going to stop the job, right? I mean, it's an indoor job. Yes, the stone might get wet, but I noticed that I think in in the area here, it was pretty dry after like the morning rain and um, it comes and goes, but it doesn't stop people from getting the job done. So that is my assessment for this morning. We'll see today's supposed to be big stone day. Get the stone installed, another tip. According to another guy that I'm talking to, um, another contractor, the name Aurelio, so far so good, really nice guy, gets stuff done, knows how to troubleshoot, things like that. Very handy, very good handyman. He said that you want to install this first. So the backs, this main backsplash first. So we'll see, I don't know. I mean, it's another day in like um, this journey. I wish I can, I wish this was a much more positive and happier blog, but I guess the positive aspect of this is that because of the deficiencies of what I've seen, and it really confirms a principle of mine, if people aren't doing work well for the little things, then the big things are probably even worse. Oh, and another thing here, which kind of surprised me, was that when um, this cabinet was installed here, you will see that it was installed pretty much flush to the wall. And because of that, this was in the way. And I'm sorry, but you know what? It's like, it just annoys me because look at all these extra holes that need to be punched in. Like, Look at all these holes here, right? This is not really um, professional work. Look at all these holes. You really had to just, you know, move and, and things like that. And I think it's just one of those things where this is, this is not, this is not really a, I mean, their carpenter works fast, but if you're not there, talking to him, watching him, his name's Eddie. He moves a little too fast and a little too, like, not, not really, not as thorough. But what annoyed me was with this, if you knew this was here, and this is more like for carpentry and just, just in general, if you're in construction, you need to be spatially aware. And I didn't see this, but we had to pull this cabinet back because it, this was obstructing it. This molding was obstructing it. And I mean, if people are saying, oh, I've had so many experiences and I've worked on half a million dollar, you know, cabinet installs and things like that. One would think that that would be like something that you would notice from the get go and you wouldn't install the cabinet and uninstall it and reinstall it. Just saying, right? But always make sure if you have a cabinet near an opening and especially if that opening has molding, make sure that things can open up because this is still kind of weird to me. Um, it just, it just shows you like, um, just, I can't even say lack of experience because these folks claim they have a lot of experience. It just shows that there's a lack of awareness or lack of, um, thoughtfulness in what they do. I mean, anything you do, whatever job or craft or whatever, you got to think. You can't be like not thinking. I mean, because especially in this type of work, every situation is different. Yeah, it's the same concept. You're installing something, but every situation is different. And this to me is, I think we have a rel relatively simple kitchen. It's not that complicated. Um, and it's like, well, not really that um, thoughtful to begin with. So yeah, so now you see there's extra holes there, extra stuff. I'm sure some compound and some finishing will do it, but it just shows you just kind of like in terms of professionalism, it's not, it's not here, it's not here. I mean, um, 
like the rule of carpentry measure twice cut once and it's like basically that's also another way of saying is like plan before you act right and it's like mm, i don't know i'm i'm glad i got this far but there's it just makes you again when you see stuff like this it makes you question a lot more things because everything in construction to me is a process it starts from one step two step three step four step five and if you miss a process or if you don't do one of those items it can really mess things up um so anyhow wish me luck today i'm I'm hoping that the stone is gonna be installed well today and the dishwasher is in and then we can move forward with hardware and um, we'll see where we stand.